Hi Aries, this is going to be your, uh, your January, there we go, January love reading for 2020 and I hope that you are doing well. So we're gonna have a look, see what is coming through for love for January of 2020. Um, also, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, information will be down below in the description box since I do a giveaway every single month. Also, if you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below as well. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing I want to mention is that my intention bracelets, they are on Etsy, so I'm wearing the Soulmate one. I'm also wearing the Twin Flame one. There is a love one on my Etsy as well. I don't know why I was just pointing in that direction as though my Etsy is somewhere over there, which it isn't, it's online, so the link to my Etsy shop will be down below. Do make sure you check out the reviews on them as well because, 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 as my stomach is rumbling, even though I just ate, um, because the, um, the reviews are amazing, you know, to see how people have seen results with these bracelets as well is just absolutely incredible, so have a look on there if you are um, intrigued or interested and they're very affordable for international shipping all that good stuff loads of bracelets on there if you are interested so let's have a look aries and see what's coming through for you for love january 2020 okay so we have here the knight of wands we also have the death card which actually has been making an appearance in the love readings quite a lot for 2020. I think that's quite interesting that that's been the case. Got the High Priestess. Okay, High Priestess with the King of Cups. Well, I can only really read this as a huge awakening and a huge transformation within yourself and also within a person of interest because what the Knight of Wands show me, shows me is progression. The Death card also shows progression because if you read the Death card, the Death card, although I'm reading it for you, but if you, you know, you see it, you understand the meaning of it, it is about death and rebirth, it's about endings and new beginnings, it's about transformations and transitions, it's about things getting stronger, things getting better, things getting more uplifted and so that's what I'm seeing is that this is a change. January is a change to what's happened previously. It is about things getting better. It is a step up. It is also about uh, excitement and joy. It is about feeling really like things have changed within yourself. You feeling much more confident and strong with how things are going for you in the month of January, but also within the person in terms of love, because I'm seeing that there's someone around. Now, if you're single, and there really isn't anyone around in any way, shape or form. This reading may not resonate with you unless someone in January turns up, which is also something that can happen. But I'm seeing that there's a person around you in terms of love who is just transforming, is accepting their emotions, their feelings, how they feel towards you, what they feel towards you, how they want to progress things, and what they want to do. That's something that's so strong on these particular cards, especially with that High Priestess energy. That High Priestess energy is very important, and I'll tell you why it's important. It's really important because the High Priestess is all about intuition, it's all about strength and knowledge, it's also about balance as well, and that's what I'm seeing that's really coming through quite strong on these particular cards, is just things getting stronger and better for both of you. Both of you. See, look here, the King of Cups, this is about you feeling so stable, strong, but also in regards to love, the other person feeling also very strong and stable towards you and taking things further, feeling like things can get stronger, things can get better, things can really uplift to that level where you feel confident, you feel energised and also feelings being expressed as well. There's a lot of water energy in all three of these cards. See, the High Priestess also has a very strong Pisces energy. The King of Cups has a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, and then of course the Death card has a Scorpio energy. Now, when you look at all three of those cards, there's so much water. It's like you're drowning in all of these um, emotions and feelings that are just coming to the surface. And also, there is this feeling of not wanting to hold back. So a person in regards to love not being able to hold back anymore, coming forward, rushing forward to you, and really expressing things to you, and wanting things to work, okay? Having so much attraction towards you, feeling this strong level of chemistry, not being able to hold back. That's what I'm seeing. Um, so, you know, honestly, drowning in water, as I'm literally gonna take a sip of my water as well. 
and connecting to these energies on a on a much more physical level as you can see <laughs> also physically here as well this is your energy aries with that fiery energy um but yeah there we go it could also be that you're dealing with someone or are going to be dealing with someone that has water in their chart quite strong. Now, when I say quite strong, it could be their sun sign, but it could also be their moon rising or Venus sign as well. Our birth charts are very complex and signs can <laughs> run pretty deep, you know, and so that is something that I'm seeing. I've also known of many people who have, say, for example, their, their sun, moon and rising are, you know, different energies and then suddenly they have so much of one star sign being dominated in all of the other uh, signs that follow through and of course you know planets as well so it's very very possible that you could have a dominating sign in the rest of your birth chart but not actually see that dominating sign in your sun your moon or your even your rising or your venus so just note that this person has strong water energy in their chart but it could be much further down in their chart, or it could be their sun, moon, or rising, or even Venus. But there's some strong water coming through here. Whoa, okay. I don't know if you can see it, this card just kept uh, spinning around and around and around. Okay, so I'm just gonna, oh, okay, we've got quite a few cards here. But it didn't look like quite a few cards when they came out, it just looks like a couple of them. I think it's because of the design on here. Three of Cups, Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Eight of Wands, Temperance, Clear Cut Progression. So really is that here, and um, especially with this Three of Cups, it's about um, a social event, invitation, going out somewhere with this person, or having kind of like a, a meeting time where you're like, okay, we're going to talk at this time. Okay, so it can also be communication through verbal communication. The Nine of Cups shows their feelings. There we go, got the last card out. The Nine of Cups shows their feelings getting stronger and stronger towards you. Okay, really aligning up. And that's a good sign. We've also got here the Seven of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, which shows that they're really holding on to you. They don't want to let go of you in that sense. They really don't. Really holding quite strongly onto you and they have strong feelings. As I mentioned, they can't hold back anymore. That's going to be the title of my video. I'm going to write it down so I don't forget. But uh, yeah, they can't hold back anymore. So essentially, you know, that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries, is that this person, their feelings are just getting stronger and stronger. They're becoming so much more stronger towards you. And also the Six of Swords here shows they're emotionally getting themselves to a much, much better place. And we see that here. We really see that. Also in correlation, you are also <laughs> mirroring that in a sense as well. You're becoming stronger within yourself. And the universe loves when things get strong, especially feeling that strength within yourself because the universe then opens doors for you. See? See? potential for commitment, stability and security with this person going forward. Also, we have here the Eight of Wands, which shows progression, things getting stronger for the two of you, things going in the right direction, feeling like there can be progression, which I'm seeing, there's huge potential for it. And also Temperance here shows patience is the virtue, but at the same time, it's showing you having this increasingly strong energy within yourself to follow your path and who you are, which I think is so important. We also have an angel, which shows that it is divine, divine connection, divine timing. Seven of Cups here is showing that your dreams are unfolding in front of you and that this person is not going to let go of you and is very much so going to manifest towards you. All right, so there's a lot of energy that came through with this particular reading, but you can also see just how well these energies have continued on. We've got so much more water energy coming through here as well. There's, there's a lot of water. I'm literally drowning in water right now, but <laughs> that's what we have. So uh, Aries, this is your reading. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to um, check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, the free reading giveaway, my bracelets, which are on Etsy as well. If you are interested in any of those things, they will be, uh, everything's listed in the description box below. So if you're on mobile, make sure you tap on the title of my video and then it will automatically expand the description box. I'm sending lots of positivity your way and I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are, whenever you're watching this and do take care. Bye.